you know, a lot of you guys don't realize something, man. You don't realize how fast time passes. You know, you don't realize that. And I'm trying to warn some of you guys. I know some of you guys get it. You know what I mean? Some of you guys come around to my channel. And you, uh, you get it. But some of you guys don't get it, man. You guys, some of you guys come around to my channel and you just make stupid comments. And you got this negative mindset. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you would never get out of incel with them fucking comments and that, that negativity that you bring around the channel. You'll never get the woman that you desire with that attitude. And I can see a lot of you not... I can see why a lot of you women... I mean, I'm calling you motherfuckers women. <laughs> you motherfuckers are like women and shit. But I can see why a lot of women don't don't like you guys. You got this bitter attitude toward life. And you are mad at the world because your mama and your daddy got nasty together when they, when they was not getting their bread right. And they were looking nasty. They were ugly. Two ugly people got together and created you. I know. Do you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers know you, you motherfuckers forgot that I was on the other side of the goddamn motherfucking fence, okay? I was on the motherfucking, <clears throat> on the other side of the fence. I know what it's like not to get women. I know what it's fucking like, man. And you guys got this negative attitude like, damn, dude, if you change your ways and get your motherfucking bread up, then you won't be going through all this agony bullshit. And, you know, the last video, I know, I know a lot of you motherfuckers didn't like it. I know you guys didn't like that shit. But you, that's something you got to hear. Because a lot of you motherfuckers are not go-getters, man. You guys been raised to be losers by your single mothers and shit. I know your single mothers did a bad job on your motherfucking ass. Because a lot of you motherfuckers ain't men. And a lot of you motherfuckers are jealous. Of the physique that I have. You motherfuckers are jealous. It's all over your face. Even in public. Just like that one. Uh, dirty. Raggedy. Out of shape incel. That was talk, talking shit to me. The other day. In the, in the gym. You motherfuckers are just like his ass. Now, I'm not talking about the guys that come around that like my videos and support me and shit like that. And, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about you motherfuckers with the sly comments. That shit don't lead to nowhere. And it doesn't faze me because I'm, I'm getting pussy nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I choose not to, not to fucking chase women right now. You know? I choose not to chase, chase women right now. But women are giving me choosing signals. And that's enough to feed my ego right now. I don't have to have sex with them. They let me know that I am still desirable. But some of you guys don't gave up on life. A lot of incels have given up. And you guys are doomed to a life of prostitutes and a whole lot of jacking off and porn. You are you doomed. A lot of you motherfuckers are doomed. There's nothing I can say about that. There's nothing I can say. And you guys will continue to live this lifestyle until you change, man. Don't be mad at me, nigga. Be mad at God or be mad at your parents. As Cali Muscle say, don't be mad at me, nigga. Be, be, be mad at God, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys... It's already too late for you. You have a defeated mindset. You got this loser mindset. 
You got this negative mindset. So, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I feel like I'm still in sale when I get turned down. And I get pissed off at some of the uh, rejection that happens to me. I, I, I get it. I still get it. But a day, a day or two later, some broader fucking give me some eye contact. Look at my biceps. And that feeds my ego right up again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, a, it's like, you know, I get let down one day. The next day I get let up by another broad. So, you know, I'm not going to be every broad's preference. But I'm going to be some broad's preference, though. As long as I get some. I don't care about, you know, not getting them all. As long as I don't go back to getting none. And you guys don't get it. And you know what? All the videos that, that I'm uploading, all the fucking game that I'm giving you motherfuckers, you guys are taking that shit with a grain of salt and you back on this fucking internet complaining about these bitches again. Complaining about these hoes again. And, and it happens every single day. Day after day, day after day, year after year. A year go by, you still complaining about these hoes. When you could have been on your purpose and got further that whole entire year, instead of being on the internet complaining about women, man. Two years go by, you still up there on that on that fucking goddamn computer complaining about these hoes. When you could have been further in life, man, you could have been, you could have got a degree, you could have been, you know, uh, uh, you could have been becoming an actor like me. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing is, I woke up. I finally woke up. I said, you know what? I'm not going to fucking complain about bitches no more. I'm I'm just focused on myself. I'm focused on becoming successful. And then, you know, all the struggling with the eight, nines, and tens won't be so hard. You know what I'm saying? I'll eventually land. If no, with my success and my status... I'll eventually land an 8, 9, or 10. You know what I'm saying? It won't be no struggle. But you guys like to do it the hard way, which is complaining. That's the hard fucking goddamn way. The 8, 9s, and 10s got high fucking standards. Can you believe them? Look at them. They're 8, 9s, and 10s. They're going to want you to have money. They're going to want you to have looks. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna want. They're gonna want you to have one or the other, either looks or money. If you don't got both, or I mean, if you don't have one or the other, other, you're gonna struggle. If you don't have one or the other, and you guys don't understand this shit, you you don't get it. You think that women are gonna someday change, and all of a sudden. Start dating incels. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're living in a fantasy world. You're living in a fantasy world. And I'm trying to wake you guys up. You become disciplined. Save your money. Become successful. You'll get the last laugh in the end. Because right now, these females are getting the last laugh. at you incels. You know, they're getting the last laugh. And they drinking incel te tears. God damn, she got a big ass. God damn. They drinking incel tears, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop crying about these bitches, man. I stopped crying about these hoes a long time ago, man. I'm not complaining. Now, I go through my trials and tribulations with these bitches still. I told you about my shit. And how a bitch want me to have a baby with her. And I said, no, fuck that. I separated myself from her ass. That's dangerous. I'm not going to stick my dick back in her again, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit is over. She got mad at me because I pulled out. So I'm not even going to go back on me, man. But you guys, you guys are pathetic. You know, why can't you change like I did? What's so different about me? That I had the drive and ambition. I had the strength. I had the heart. I had the heart to win. I changed my, my way of thinking. 
I start calling myself a winner instead of a fucking goddamn incel loser. I changed my way of thinking, man. I changed my way of thinking. I said, no, this is not how I want my fucking story to end. I'm not about to go to the grave being sexless, man. So a lot of you guys going to be going to the grave sexless. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there right now like that. They ain't in their mid 40s or 50s. They ain't got no pussy around, man. They got zero pussy. You know what? That guy, John Witherspoon, he fucked all the way to the grave. He might not have been attractive, but he was still busting nuts all over the place with these chicks. He was getting laid throughout his whole entire goddamn life. And never stop getting laid. See, the thing is, when you get a little older, you ain't got no bread, you stop getting laid. The pussy stops coming in. Because you old and you ain't got no bread. That don't make no sense. That don't make any dollars. And you don't get that. You guys, maybe you might be in your 20s or you might be in your 30s. You're not thinking... Five or ten years from now, what where I do I want to be? Do I want to be still struggling with Asian women or any type of women at all? Do I still want to be struggling in the dating market? Or do I want to be on top? Cause them years are gonna go by, man. This year already went by hella quick. This year went by hella quick. And you guys ain't still are not getting it. You know, you guys have got two left feet. Mm, you go the wrong way. Like, you'll go down a one-way street that, that says go this way, but you'll go that way. That, that's your incel, guys. That's how I used to think, too. I used to think that women used to, you know, well, you know, suppose that fucking came up to me. You know, me being fat overweight, hella fat around my neck and stuff. I thought that women was supposed to just come up to me and bow down to me. I was delusional. And that's how you guys are. You fucking delusional. You thinking you're good looking when you're not. You thinking you got good genetics when you don't. Who want to have a baby with a man who don't work out, who don't want to self-improve, who don't want to fucking get out, get out there and get to the gym and improve themselves? Who want to have a baby with him? Who want to fuck him? What chick wanna wanna fuck that, man? You know what I'm saying? You look like Fat Albert's brother. You know what I'm saying? You you don't work out. You don't you don't you lazy. You play a whole lot of video games every single goddamn day. It ain't like you play one or two or three hours. You play a uh, five, six, seven hours, eight hours of video game play. But do you play eight hours a day? Goddamn, nigga, you ain't got nothing to do. I can understand, let me be wrong, nigga. Two or three hours, that's fine. But eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, that's too much. That's the reason why you're not getting laid, man. You putting your fucking life into that video game or you drink too much. You don't know how to have one or two sips, nigga. You have uh, 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 five or six, seven drinks. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit that you need to check. I quit drinking. I don't drink anymore. My anniversary was on the 30th of uh, last month. You know, that was that was the 30th of October. That was my my anniversary, one month anniversary. And I'm trying to get you guys to wake up. I'm trying to save you guys the heartache in the future, you know. You guys are going to be some sad, upset motherfuckers in the next couple of years. And I'm going to be further in my, cur in my career, in my acting career. I'm going to be out there trying to get my foot in the door while you guys are sitting back complaining. And when I get my foot in the door, I kick my foot in the door. Then you guys still going to be complaining? I'm going to be a movie star and you're going to be complaining? I'm going to be looking back like, damn, is them incels still online talking about them bitches? While I'm acting on set and shit, I might be a robber or I might be the black Superman. Or I might be, you know, uh, uh, a sidekick of a of, of, of Black Panther. 
You know what I'm saying? Getting all types of pussy and panties thrown at me. Why you guys still, man, man, with women this and that, women this and this. I'm going to be having threesomes, foursomes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be fucking all types of bad bitches. And I'm going I'm to come back and look online and be like, is this motherfucker still complaining about them bitches again? That shit was like four or five years ago. Man, you motherfucker still complaining. I'm getting all types of pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. I'm going to look back uh, four or five years from now. Got my acting career going on. And you motherfucker still complaining. I'm driving a fucking Carvette, a Phantom Rolls Royce, a fucking um, a, a, a Mercedes Benz AMG. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving all types of sports cars, and I go back online. You motherfuckers still complaining about them women? Still complaining? I'm like, man, the motherfuckers still complaining? You be in the same spot five years from now, still online? Man, I'm talking about the women, man. Fuck them bitches, man. man. Hey, the bitches ain't dating me, man. They ain't dating me. They don't want to date me, man. I'm going to talk about these bitches right now. They, they taking motherfuckers for granted and, and, and they're in people's pockets and, you know, all they want is money. <laughs> I'm out. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Click the notification bell button. So you'll never ever miss another video from me for the people who care about me and fuck all the people that hate me. I'm out.